the most exciting disappointment from Adidas. Disappointed! You might be asking yourself, Billy, how could you ever, ever find something from Adidas disappointing? Oh man, let me tell you, it's the Alpha Bounce 5.8 Zip. I don't even want to put my money on it to review it to show you guys because it's not even worth it. Now, why would I make a video about it if I don't like it? Because I love the Alpha Bounce and it's my daily beater and my go-to when I don't need a flex. But when this kind of bullshit is pulled, it taints the entire lineup and basically makes Adidas lose confidence on its Alpha Bounce line. Now, as a good critic, you always start with the pros, spill the cons, and end it with another pro. But I'ma cut the bullshit. When I first heard about this shoe, I was already skeptical cause of zippers, especially bad zippers. Not you, YKK. I ain't talking about you. You keep doing your thing. Are the worst to fix and use. Now when I look at it, the zipper location is right over the forefoot where it places the laces. But this is the dumbest place to put it if you have wide feet like my King Kong ass feet. With my feet, you basically end up stretching the zipper. Look at my left foot. The zipper, when zipped, can't even hold onto its teeth. It's getting pulled apart when I wear it. If you put the zippers on the shoe, at least make the materials on the upper stretchy so that the zipper has some give, cause clearly it doesn't. I definitely don't see how this could be used properly. Now perhaps this shoe is actually just a tight fit and I have to go half size up. But in reality, even when I went half size up, it didn't even matter. My right foot couldn't zip up and my left foot zipper still looks like it's about to burst and I had some space on my toe box. So clearly it wasn't the size, it was just the fact that it doesn't fit wide feet. Also, to keep your foot in place, Adidas put this neoprene sock-like thing to stabilize your foot under the zipper. The neoprene is pretty comfy, but I feel like if they just put that for the whole thing with the Alpha Bounce outsole, it would have made more sense than this stupid zipper shit. Because zippers work best either behind your foot or on the side. On the forefoot, it just doesn't make sense. At least to me it doesn't. Because this shoe is such a unique high top and it's being released in fall, I thought it would be waterproof or whatever, especially because the site says weather resistant. And I go look at my toe box and there's these mesh like holes. I haven't done the water test, but it seems like these reviewers did and they aren't happy. Man. As disappointing as it is, I did say it was kind of exciting at the same time. The thing that really drew me to look at this shoe was because of the Continental outsole. Now I've been waiting for this long enough to come out because Alpha Bounce does not have a good grip. Reason being is that the Alpha Bounce rubber outsole does not grip to anything. It's terrible with grip and it slips on wet surfaces easily. But with the Continental outsole, I expect it to be way better. Comfort is the second pro of this shoe. It is mad comfy. It's got the same Alpha Bounce midsole, but the Continental outsole comes with nubbles, and they are thick, boy. These nubbles are so thick, they push up under your feet, massaging your every step. As simple and dumb as that sounds, the comfort is exactly, if not more than what you get with the 1.0 Ultra Boost outsole. So Adidas, if Alpha Bounce is Superman, then this 5.8 zip is Kryptonite. You can do better for the Alpha Bounce lineup.